Hello everyone, welcome back to the EcoQuest playthrough. We are finally here in Aloria, and how has your adventure been so far, Tom? <laughs> it's just been grand, Helldragon. Why is there a shopping cart under the sea? Will this be another ham-fisted ecological message? Well, I wouldn't say it's ham-fisted, and one thing I will praise EcoQuest for is that its environmental message is not like... It's not like Captain Planet here, you know? Like, it would be easy, it would be so easy to make, like, some generic, uh, villain who's, like, greedy, he doesn't give a fuck about the environment, he's the one causing all this. No, they save that for the sequel. Ah, okay, so stay away from EcoQuest 2 if you don't want, like, preachiness, I guess. In this one, it's more about the fallacies of man, and man it's, uh, itself has, you know, it's good, it's bad points. You know, some care about the others, and some don't necessarily think what they're doing, some really actively don't care. It's actually a lot more subtle uh, and nuanced in this game, which is weird, but it actually works pretty well, I think. But for the moment, we're just picking up shit and putting it in his infinite size garbage bag, including a shopping cart and a fucking three-wheel bike. Ah, uh, so Adam isn't that different from other Sierra protagonists, then. Well, pretty much. He's got to pick up fucking everything that isn't pinned down, yeah. Now, you do get points for uh, recycling everything in an area, but some of this, uh... It's kind of hard to tell sometimes what you can pick up and what you can't. Some of it is actually uh, mired into the background itself, so you may have some trial and error if you're trying to do this yourself blind and you don't know what exactly to pick up. Wow, a Ness Amiibo. This can go right in my magic bag of recycling. Well, of course somebody threw that over the edge into the ocean. Adam takes the bronze conch shell. Oh, this is gonna fetch such a pretty penny on eBay. Now you think that would set off something like a rolling stone to crush Adam, but no, it's just there. Free eyes always watching. Well, well, we'll get back to that later, but first off, we have to use this shell for something. Like, I love this. This makes no sense. Why is the shell for this statue here on the inside of the temple where it can't be used? Maybe a goldfish tried installing it? You know, what kind of memories those guys have. Well, they don't have any thumbs, so I guess that would make sense, right? Hmm. Kind of makes you wonder who built all this architecture and the like. Well, it was probably, you know, Atlanteans or Allurians or whatever. Poseidon has loosened his grip on the trident. He stabs Adam with ferociousness. <laughs> he takes 15 HP damage. No, no, you're breaking the illusion here. You can't. You kind of went out of the bubble. You can't surf into the little graphic here. That's not how it works. Yeah, it's gotten surprisingly meta all of a sudden. No, I have no idea what that green shit is. I think it's algae or poison. I don't know. Now, let's see. I've already stolen something from this place. I think now the best thing to do is to destroy it. Ah, sure, I'm glad Delphinius brought me down here so I can destroy his homeland. <laughs> the trident pushes in the three eyes, and the wall trembles. A panel slowly opens. It's full of prizes inside. Or a magic hollow fish from the future. A fish appears mysteriously from somewhere behind the panel. It must be the oracle. All right, to good conclusion. Now, I will speak uh, in the defense of the voice acting a little. Uh, this person here who plays the oracle, and she plays like one other character in the game. She's not bad. Like, look, she's not amazing. But compared with all of the other bad voice acting in this game, she's actually kind of decent, and you know, I will give her props for that. Well, if you want someone who's gonna be all, oh, I am talking about the future, then you better get someone at least, you know, halfway decent to do it. Yeah, it's kind of hard to make prophecies when your voice actor isn't very believable. Just imagine, like, Delphinius, you know, her voice actress was the prophet. Uh, Delphinius is a boy, I don't care. Her vo his voice actress is a girl, I'll use him interchangeably because I don't give a shit. And you just really can't tell the difference some days. <laughs> now don't come back unless you have something worth buying. Okay, so it's good to know the Oracle lives in the equivalent of a McDonald's drive through window. So yeah, this is one of their uh, excuses for a puzzle, a damn sliding tile one. Yes, I have cut out most of this because you don't need to see me fail. 
I like how you call it an excuse of a puzzle, and yet a crossfade is needed. It. Well, it was so riveting, though. Look, there are naked people in this mosaic. Should I be looking at this? Nice work on that children's puzzle, you 27-year-old man. It always sounds like he is like the Oracle teleports in from space and time. The truth to feel. You know, you can speak without using a rhyming pattern. I'm just going to throw that out there. But it wouldn't be as much fun, would it, Tom? Check out the ass on that mosaic. <laughs> Who has the finest booty of them all? This fine creature. Is the answer man? The riddle you have answered true. The answer is always man. Yeah, man's always the evil guy behind fucking everything. Who destroyed the earth? Man. Who wants to leave earth and travel the stars? Man. What spells M A N? Man, of course. <laughs> Yeah, so now this is basically our uh, exposition dump in combination with answering riddles, and now we'll get an idea of what exactly is going on around here. Okay, um, the water is not emerald, last time I checked. Although, you know, yellow sunlight, blue water, okay, I can kind of get that. Although blue water is a reflection of the sky. Look, shut up, you know what I'm talking about. I think they missed a trick here by auto-answering the questions for you. I, there should have at least been a multiple choice kind of thing. Well, I mean, you have to click on the mosaic based on what the answer is, so... Oh, is that how it works? It's something like that, yeah. So, yeah, it's a uh, more realistic edutainment game learning about the sea, where uh, comic book radiation mutated a manta ray into a flesh-eating monster. Okay, I'm perfectly down with this. Well, I'm glad you are, because I don't have anybody else to comment on this with me. NBM sure as shit probably doesn't want to. Oh, hey, you might be wrong there, but he's not available right now, so he's stuck with me, I'm afraid. A vision will I grant to you. Collect seven MacGuffins and save the day. The rainbow fish. Into harm's way. With all his strength, he cannot free himself. I love this line right here. He can't free himself from man's machinery. When we get to this point, you're going to see what exactly is keeping him there, and it's not going to be a machine. The prophecy says a child of man might help save the Leon. Whoa, that echo effect is pretty crazy. Well, they are underwater, and I love how Adam has that comic book mask kind of thing that lets him talk perfectly underwater and still breathe. Oh, uh, where's his snorkel, by the way? Uh, well, he's getting air from his scuba tank. I assume it feeds it to the mask through science. And you shall have the prophecy. Well, bye now. <laughs> Oracle Fish has to go night-night. I just lo I'm remembering now of all the points I start freaking out over how stupid this game gets. Alright, where to now, Hell Dragon? Alright, well, next up, I believe we're... I think next up, yeah, we're gonna go meet the mayor and kind of learn more about what's happening around here. <laughs> really? The mayor of Fishtown? Well, after uh, Delphinius puts in their two cents, of course. Oh, I was just enjoying, like, the, the nice peaceful ambience of the game, and then fucking cartoon dolphin comes in and ruins it. I'll safely say now, Delphinius is pretty fucking useless in this game. I think he does, like, one useful thing, and that's pretty much it. He's just here to put in his two cents. talk to the city's mayor and the guardian of the greens. If you can find them, that is. I've seen hardly I don't know why the dolphin is posing like that when it talks, by the way. I'm pretty sure the fins are not that bendable. Yeah, it's trying to go for like a human thing to like, I don't know, appeal to Adam here. That's not really appealing at all, not to me. I gotta go catch up on my stories. Can I leave the scene please? Fix that red fish, I'm kinda stuck here. <laughs> the f <laughs> I love the frame rate on Delphinius. It's so bad in this game, and again, some of that is because of my recording. Some of that is because the game literally runs that fast, so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine, don't worry about it. Oh, oh, this guy. I can't wait. Listen to him. Paul, who dares enter the chambers of the great Thanatos? Are you kidding me? The nope. Seems to no, I am not. Yeah, booming. That's certainly not the adjective I'd pick. <laughs> Shitting is more like it. Hello? Who, who are you? I am the great and powerful Oz. Which is to say, <coughs> oh, this guy. Oh my god. Look, guys. Stake <laughs> me in the great senator. 
I'm Adam. <sighs> Delphinia's Where the fuck was the voice direction for this guy? He's so fucking terrible. Oh, so bad. <laughs> what whale? You mean Cetus? I'm trying to pinpoint what kind of guy this is. Like, I I'm sitting there, I'm trying to mention the pitch. Hey, you, person who presumably works at Sierra and who I don't normally talk to otherwise, otherwise I would have known this is a bad idea. <laughs> How would you like to voice a character in Ego Quest? Will sign me up! He's slightly jived, like, hey, baby, stop polluting the sea. I, I do think he's a little jive, yeah. <laughs> Okay, adding F onto the end of your words does not make it sound any more meaningful. It just makes you sound like a pretentious prick. The problem, I think, also with this game is that the writing is... Well, I mean, you know, it's it's for kids. It's more comedic, in a sense. But the voice acting really kind of does not fit the dialogue that well. Like, this dialogue was not meant to be said out loud, in all honesty. So it could have really used a rewrite. A bit like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, you know, the uh, the PS2 version. Yeah, a bit like most Kingdom Hearts games, yeah, you're right. Okay, Hell Dragon. You? You? Please stop talking. Oh, it's just a never-ending series of puzzles here. We may well have played, like, later or something. Well, it is an adventure game. <laughs> Now, when he said columns, I thought, oh, fuck yes, I love columns on Sega Genesis, but no, it's not nearly that cool. No such luck, Dragon. no such luck. And now I will answer no more questions, human boy. The great senator... Will you stop saying that? And silently ponder... The great asshole! Is he actually on screen right now? You'll see. Um, in this puzzle right here, you have to turn around the pieces of the column in order to get them to match up with the ones on the right side. It makes no sense, and it takes too way fucking long, so yes, I cut this out too. Okay. There's not only that hidden mechanics that the viewers need to know about, is there? Not to my knowledge, no? The room shakes as the building settles down on the columns. The gold mask is knocked from the wall. Hey, baby, watch where that you're dropping that! <laughs> Really? Yep. From the fallen mask. Fucking Sebastian is the senator? Oh my god, please stop. Oh, boo-hoo, baby. I can't. I tried, but no one will listen to me. No one cares. Oh gosh, I wonder why. I'm just so mad during this entire segment when I recorded it, because the voice acting is so fucking terrible. Alright, maybe we should stop harping on that. All right, all right. <laughs> I do like how this guy has a little flesh mustache thing going on, though. <sighs> Superfluous. Yeah, that's the perfect description. I also love how the animation uh, in this game for some of the uh, people will be, well, people, fish, will be talking to. Yeah. It's so full of unnecessary blinks and twitches and shit like that. Like, later on I want to point out a guy we'll meet that has, like, the worst case of fucking twitch face you have ever seen. <laughs> twitch face, I like it. I don't know what the, it's like a physical tick. Like, it's really bad. Well, I have default face, you can have twitch face for free. Like, his eyebrows are juking and jiving all over the place. I don't know why a hermit crab has teeth, too. Well, I assume they... What do hermit crabs eat again? Because this game didn't teach me that. <laughs> well, maybe I can get the citizens to come out. Citizens? Like, I love also when Adam's talking, sometimes he just looks completely bored and sarcastic, like, uh-huh, really? <laughs> can I have another puzzle, please? <laughs> I'm bored already. Goodbye now. I must go back to my pondering. I hate superfluous in this game. It's superfluous, are you pondering what I'm pondering? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, send you on Nail Dragon. <laughs> Alright, where to now? Alright, next up we are gonna go... Uh, east, west... We're going to the left, I don't care. <laughs> We're going to the left to meet the Guardian of the Greens, who, again, one of the few characters in this game that actually has a decent voice, so this is okay. With all this pollution that man sent down here. Yeah, I swear to God, we need to ban man from the ocean because clearly he does not know how to use it right. Soda down his garbage bag. 
I'm just trying to work my way around, trying to get all the garbage in like one swoop without falling over myself. I gotta say, it's quite ingenious to reward the player with points for helping to clean up the ocean. You see, kids are easily tricked like that. They think they're doing good if you award them arbitrary points. That's true, give them like points or fun bucks or some shit like that. Yeah. You could totally run this game on microtransactions now. We're gonna give you a hundred EcoQuest fun bucks, but if you pay us real money, you can get more. EcoQuest free the search for vengeance. <laughs> Adam rides the wheel into the trash. Whee! That was pretty fun. Adam snatches the purse and bags it. I'm no money. He's a menace. Adam decides to be nice and clean up the old pot. <laughs> Not before taking a toke himself. Well, it was a natural physical pot, so that should be a neat trick. Adam slowly slips the sheet into the sack. Good job! Adam may not be able to reverse all of the damage to the plants in the Royal Gardens, but at least he's removed all of the visible litter. And according to the statutes of the video game archives, the entire area bursts in golden light and instantly reverts to normal. The end. End of EcoQuest. They should have done an Okami game underneath the ocean. That would have been interesting. <laughs> fertilizer solution for my dad's lab. I'm not sure if it will help you, but without it, you'll die for sure. Thank you, Adam! <laughs> that went from nice to morbid in <laughs> about two seconds for that. You need my help, Coral. Admit it. I don't know if this is ha will help you, but I should do it anyway. Pretty much. Well, we did see it earlier. It did kind of help clean up that coral uh, back at the house. The oil it's losing its chocolate coating. It wasn't a whale after all, it was just a big mackerel. What are you doing to my coral, child? No, I have no idea why the giant shrimp here has feminine lips. You'll just have to go with it, won't you? Is it a shrimp or is it a lobster? I think it's a lobster, I have no fucking idea to be honest. You learned nothing from this game! I pretty much learned nothing from this game, I will admit. sympathy for the creatures of the sea? This is actually the same voice actress as the Oracle, and again, you know, she does a decent job. It's not amazing, but it sounds alright, I think. My name is Adam, but it's not magic, just science. A different form of magic. Well, you know what they say about science being a near indistinguishable form of magic, right? It is my job to tell See, everybody in this game, they have fancy Roman, uh, uh, what, what was the word? Cosmopolitan names that reflect what they are. My garden is all but dead. What will you do when the plants are gone? Will you die? Will you die and rot? Or die here. Maybe just die. Is that what you'd like, human? You know what a worse fate is? Showing up in the sequel. <laughs> Damn. You showed these guys, Helldragon. You know they shape themselves like this in homage to him. I wasn't aware Coral could do that. Like, I want to see Coral, like, if you manipulate them the right way, they form, like, indecent shapes. Because somebody has to try that. It's for science. And then maybe go home, because I'm sure my dad's worried about me. Yeah, uh, Adam's dad does not show up in this game again, by the way, and I don't think he'll be in the sequel for that long either. <laughs> It's a butter I kept, just in case. It is the last of my healing potion. Yes, there is healing potion in this game. It has like enough for two helpings, and when you take it, your attack power is doubled until the first time you take damage. Yeah, because um, one thing they left out of this game was the EcoQuest turn-based battle system. <laughs> you have to fight pollution. The potion does not work on my poor garden. It's a pretty shitty healing potion, but for some reason it works on humans. I don't know why. It's cure light wounds, the worst kind. Okay, so it's not specifically for Adam, but it's for something specifically. Well, it could be for Adam, like if Adam decided to dance with a harpoon in his gut, so, you know. Just go back underneath my... I don't know, does she live underneath that well? I don't know. It's a holiday home. Something like that, yeah. I like being near the city. Adam picks the shell up from the tar. Ick! It's a nice roomy shell, but it won't be much use covering Well, I guess Superfluous will have to fucking cope, won't he? Time for a quick time event where we clean the shell. 
Now, I tried to leave this screen and go to the next area a grand total of four times, but like I said before, the pathfinding in this game can suck so much that he will not fucking go where you want him to. Fucking Adam. See, this is why you go with adults for your Sierra protagonists. So that's why I swim all the fuck way out here, and then I click all the way up here just to make absolutely sure he goes where I fucking tell him to. It's kind of an expansive area, there's not many set paths I can see here. That's true, but they really should have worked on that. Oh, well, hello. Woo! Things have gotten even worse since the last time I was here. I'm trying to help out- Do they have organized crime in the fish apartments? <laughs> well, someone knocks down the door, swims in, and demands your money. No, somebody's helping the humans uh, dump their trash. Yeah, who gives a shit? They pay me good! So close to the Guardians of the Galaxy, but not quite. Or, uh, well, at least it wasn't the Green Lantern Guardians. Because I'm a human boy. That's understandable, I guess, but not very fair. Maybe there's some way you can prove to the mayor that you're a good human. How? I don't know, can you bribe a hermit crab? <laughs> I don't think bribing an elected official will go down that well. No, no, I think there is a precedent for that. <laughs> He just looks at looks at the player, Delphinius, here, staring with his eyes. Well, he's not going to very well stare with his dorsal fin, is he, Eldragon? Come on, keep up. Adam uses the rag to clean the oil and tar off the shell. He gets all the oil off the shell, but boy, that rag... Well, I'm glad they gave me points for this, for doing someone else's work. Use oily rag on Delphinius. <laughs> Look, they chopped him in half. <laughs> <laughs> yes, goodbye, you <laughs> annoying piece. Oh, he's back. Yeah, this is pretty much all he does most of the game. He comes in, he says his two cents, he leaves to go take a breath, and that's pretty much fucking it. We gotta do most of the work around here. I like the art in this area, I gotta say. I like how all the doors are different oh, shapes, burn. like um, the archways and whatnot. Yeah, I really think the area in this game, uh, since it's, you know, underwater, it's this ancient uh, Atlantean city, it looks a lot more interesting. In the sequel, you're just in a rainforest for most of the time. There's, like, villages. It's, like, it's exotic, but it's not nearly as cool, I think. Also, EcoQuest 1 deals with the sea. EcoQuest 2 deals with the rainforest. Yeah, something like that. Okay, well, it's thematically different in each game. I can appreciate that. Oh, sick fucking burn. <laughs> oh, do, 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 biting sports satire. Adam disposes of the yucky old. I want you to edit that MLG horn into it. No, 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 I fucking hate that in certain videos of groups I shall not mention here. All right, all right. the aluminum toothpaste tube into his garbage bag. He silently wonders when the hell is this bag going to reach capacity? No, it's like a, a bag of ever-holding. Like, he probably got it out of a Dungeons & Dragons catalog. Adam makes a clean sweep of the garbage around the fish apartments. Caring not for the fish that live in the apartments. He has better things to do than worry about their feelings. Well, we should hire Adam to pick up the garbage because other fish don't have fucking hands. Yeah, Adam, there's a packet of Doritos on the floor. Choppy choppy. <laughs> Get to it, human boy! Alright, now that we have a clean shell for Superfluous, we can finally go give that to him as soon as Adam decides to go where I tell him to. Why even have a cursor at this point? I don't even know. Just to keep it with the times, I suppose. Give him the trident. Superfluous, come out and see what I brought you. Give him the shell. Don't give him the shell. I got a shell for your big fatty ass. Oh. Clean shell. Oh, baby, I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> I can finally move my TV in here. <laughs> I told you, I want to help Illyria. Not you specifically, though, but I guess I have to. Don't look at me, I'm a decent. Nice fit. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess, for a hermit crab. I don't think you're even connected to that shell. N yeah, I'm pretty sure the shell is way bigger than his actual body. Maybe a bit of crack would do, judging by the random sniff back there. If you'll agree to help me get the citizens here for a council meeting. Well, gosh, that sounds like work, Mr. Superbulous. Are you sure it's okay? <sighs> Where's Aquaman when you need him? He can call the seas denizens. I like how his new shell had the badge he had apparently been carrying on him this whole time. 
Why, it's a starfish. It's a living! <laughs> what, what? I like how the mosaic is some guy doing a JoJo pose. <laughs> I just realized that too, yeah. <laughs> Superfluous is a stand, oh shit. Oh god, no, that would be like some fucking loser stand that gets killed early on. Oh no, we're in this game, let's get out of here. Lurian swim into the courtyard, only to panic and run off. Adam wonders what on earth? Poseidon's like, go that way. Whoa! Oh no, am I dying? Adam, yeah, it looks like he was turning blue for a minute there. Black shape glides like a cloud above him. That better be a whale. No, it's not. <laughs> just, just linger on that. The water tingles with a feeling of danger and evil. Adam is frozen in place with fear, unable to move a flipper. Well, it turns out it's a uh, black manta. All right. That's all he does. <laughs> And now, I think it is time for the playthrough to take a brief nap, so if you'll just close your eyes, we'll be back with you in a minute. Oh my god, what's happening? What is happening? Um, something is passing overhead. Something very large and very menacing. And it fades out everything, including the status bar, which kind of breaks the illusion a little bit. I would think the game would be the crushing. The monster finishes its path and slowly glides away. Yeah, that's him. Well, that's Cetus? No, that's Flesh Eater. That's the uh, mutated manta ray we saw. Adam, are you okay? Did I hurt you? Well, my ego's hurt a little. My ego's hurt as well. <laughs> what is that thing? We call him Flesh Eater. Oh, thanks for spoiling the plot, Hell Dragon. Now, I do like how they mentioned that most Manta are actually gentle creatures. They look weird, but you know, they won't, you know, fuck with you unless you mess with them. But Flesh Eater is powered by comic book radiation, which instantly makes him a supervillain. We seem to be his favorite food. Next to foamy pretzels. Next to small blonde children. The mayor asked me to see if I can get him to the council chambers. But why would they come out for me? Here, use this old shotgun I found that somebody dumped. Simularians than Flesh Eater. Why don't you go visit the citizens in the fish apartment? If you can help them with their problems, they'd trust you. Oh no, that sounds a lot like Fetch Quest to me, Delphinius. Well, let's get on with it then. There's nothing else to do in this goddamn dump. Yeah, there's only the entire ocean to explore, but fuck it, we gotta do this, right? Yeah, we could be hanging out with Ariel, but I guess we'll go talk to the fish. See you guys next time.